Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the probability distribution of discrete random variable. Last time, may natlo tayong video about random variables wherein diniscuss din natin kung paano kunin yung values ng random variable. And mayroon na rin tayong video na pinakita natin yung pagkakaiba between discrete random variable and continuous random variable. So kung gusto mo siya matutunan, yung link natin ay nasa ating description box. Pwede mo siyang tignan dyan. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest top loads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So basically guys, when we talk about the probability distribution of discrete random variables, it is important for us to review first what are the properties of probability. Kasi ano, um, in your grade 10 mathematics, lalo na sa 4th quarter or 3rd quarter, yung sa prob probability, we already discussed or natutunan nyo na dun, what are the properties of a probability. This one is just a review. First property is that the probability of each outcome is from 0 to 1. So, ano lang naman yan eh, um, yung outcome natin o yung chance, parang na lang, chance na mangyari yung isang outcome, hindi pwedeng lumagpas sa 0, hindi rin pwedeng lumagpas sa 1. Mula 0 hanggang 1 lang impossible. So itong 1 natin is considered as 1%, ay 100%. And symbol, this is the probability of an event x is greater than or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 1. So later on, elaborate natin yan. Next, we have the second property, the sum of probabilities is equal to 1. So, in symbol, ito siya. Summation of P of X is equal to 1. So, we are given here a table where in kumapansin nyo, or if you can still remember, ito yung table na ginamit natin sa first video natin about random variable. Pero, ito na lang muna tayo. In this table, ito yung, ito yung mga possible outcomes natin. 0, 1, 2, or ito yung values ng ating random variable. Here, in our second row, meron tayong P of X where in Ito yung probability ng bawat outcome na meron tayo sa ating random variable. As you can see, we have here 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.25. We're in, uh, i-check natin if this table ay pasok siya sa mga properties ng probability. So focus tayo dito. The probability of each outcome is from 0 to 1. So check natin, 0 0.25, pasok between 0 to 1. 0 0.50, 0 0.25. Lahat sila, itong tatlong to, lahat ng outcomes na to, or probabilities ng outcomes natin, lahat sila is between 0 and 1. So, okay yan. And, another thing about this, uh, di ba nakita nyo decimal siya? Baka maka-encounter kayo ng mga um, probability na naka-fractional form. Pwede po yun. Okay? So, next natin, the sum of all probabilities, the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. Sabi natin kanina, summation of P of X is equal to 1. And kapag inad mo to lahat, dapat daw equal lang siya sa 1. So, since meron lang kasi tayong isang event. So, we have 0 0.25 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 0 0.25, definitely, that is, that is equal to 1. So, itong table natin ito is pasok sa ating properties. So, in the next part of our video, we will do um, situation wherein we need to construct probability distribution table at hanapin natin yung now here's our first example we have here a fair coin is tossed twice let x be the number of heads that are observed so in this problem or in this given situation the experiment is yung pag toss ng coin twice and then we are, assign we are assigning x as the random variable na kung saan uh, ito daw yung number of heads that are observed. So, we are given two tasks. Letter A, construct a probability distribution of x o yung table na tinatawag natin. And letter B, find the probability that at least one head is observed. So, dito ang gagawin natin dito is that ito, um, before we start with letter A, kailangan mo na natin makuha yung sample space natin. Or, I mean, yung lahat ng possible outcomes natin when we toss a fair coin twice. 
So alam natin from our previous video, ang mga possible outcomes natin in tossing a coin twice are head, head, so yun yung, yun yung mga possibilities natin, head, tail, pwede yan, head and tail, tapos pwede rin namang tail, head, and lastly, possible din na lumabas ay yung head and head. So as you can see, meron tayong four possible outcomes. So right now, after natin makuha yan, ready na tayo mag-construct ngayon ng probability distribution table of X. So this will be your letter A. Probability distribution of X. So gawa tayo ng table na meron two rows. So gawa tayo. Okay. And then, patiin natin siya. Tapos, sa unahan, part. This will be your x part. Yung iyong random variable. x tapos yung iyong probabilities ng bawat outcome. And then, um, kung kapansin nyo, um, hati natin sa tatlo yung ating, ano, yung ating natitirang space. Kasi meron lang tayong, ang values ng ating random variable is 0, 1, and 2. So, 0, 1, and 2. 0, 1, and 2. So, bakit po naging 0? Remember, uh, sabi dito, let x be the number of heads that are observed. So, as you can see, dito meron tayong, sa first outcome natin, meron tayong 2. Diba? 2 yan. 2. 2 heads yan. Diba? Tapos, sa second outcome natin, meron tayong isang head. So, 1. And then, sa third outcome natin, oh, sorry, this is tail and tail. Sorry, this is tail and tail. Sa third outcome natin, meron tayong tail, head, okay? Tail, head, in which isa lang yung head natin. So, meron tayong 1. Tapos, sa last possible outcome natin, meron tayong tail and tail, which is 0. So, as you can see, the numbers or the values of your Random variable x is 0, 1, and 2. Na ulit kasi 1, kaya 1 na lang siya. Ngayon, for the probability of each values, di ba, meron tayong 0. Tignan natin mabuti ah. Ano ngayon yung probability na itong 0 na to? So, ang probability niya, punta natin to, is 1. Meron lang tayong isa. Isa, di ba? 1 out of 4. Apat kasi yan. Isa lang out of 4. So, that is 1 over 4 or 0.25, possible yun. Next, let's go with this one. Ilan naman yung isa? As you can see, sa apat na possible outcomes natin, meron tayong dalawa. Dalawang merong isang head na nag-appear. So that is 2 over 4, or pwede naman maging 1 half. Pwede naman maging 1 half. And lastly, for two heads, puntahan natin dito, two heads, meron lang tayong isa. Isa lang nga, again, isa lang. Ito lang siya, isa. Nag-iisa lang siya, out of 4. So that is 1 over 4. Ito ngayon yung, ano, yung ating at sagot sa letter A, which is, we need to construct a probability distribution of X. Ngayon, check natin. So lahat ba yan ay pasok sa properties ng probability? Check natin. Di ba sa usapan natin doon, um, ang probability ng bawat event natin or ng bawat outcome natin is from 0 to 1. As you can see, all of this 1, 4, 2 over 4, Tapos 1 for lahat ng yan ay under lang ng, ay greater than, greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 1. And then kapag inad mo yan, that is equal to. Now for letter B naman, we are, he, we are given here, find the probability that at least one head is observed. So pag sinabi natin at least, uh, dapat merong possible na isa or dalawang nag-appear. So for letter B, para makuha natin yung sagot dito, for letter B, Lagay natin dito, um, at least, at yung event natin, 1 head. So, ito yung event natin. So, in symbol, you can write it as P of X, your random variable, is greater than or equal to 1. So, ngayon, puntahan natin, para makuha natin yung formula, Kailangan natin makuha yung probability ng bawat event dito. Meron tayong tatlong event, 1, 2, and 3. 
So, alin dyan yung merong head? Itong dalawang to. So, i-add natin sila. Probability of one head plus the probability of two heads. Kasi pasok sila dahil um, at least one head. Ito, pwede to, pwede rin to. So, the values for the probability of one head, ito siya, is 2 over 4. 2 over 4, or gawin na natin 1 half. Sige, 1 half. And yung probability of getting 2 heads naman is 1 fourth, so plus 1 fourth. And then kapag inad natin yan, this will give you 3 over 4. Kasi ano yan, uh, meron silang LCD na 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1, that is 2. 4 divided by 4, that will give you 1 times 1 plus 1. So that will give you 3 over 4. So the probability of getting at least 1 head is equivalent to 3 fourths or 0 0.75. At yung mga possible answers natin for item number 1. For item number 2 naman, we are given this problem. A pair of fair dice is called let x denote the sum. The x natin is ano ha, the sum of the number of dots on the top faces. Remember, meron tayong dalawang dice na i-roll natin. So, hindi siya pwede maging 1. So, again, yung ating random variable x is represents the sum of the number of dots of on the top faces. So, ito yung mga task natin. Construct the probability distribution of x. And letter b, Find the probability that the sum of the dots is greater than or equal to 9. So, construct muna tayo ng ating distribution table. So, ang ano dyan, ang pinakamababa ditong pairing is ano, 2. Yung sum nila ha, pinakamababa is 2. At ito yung pinakamataas which is 12. So, this is 2, this is 12. So, gagawa tayo ng distribution table. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 11 na columns sa kailangan natin gawin. So, gawin na natin dito. Okay. Tayo natin kung magkasya. Sana magkasya. Sa so, una, kung na gawin natin. Paka perfect. So, gawin natin dito is that x and then P of X. Remember ha, yung X natin is the sum of the number of dots sa top faces niya. So, pinakang baba dun is 2. So, lagyan natin dito 2. Gawin natin ang ano, bawat column. Pagkasahin ko lang ha. 8. Nine, ten, eleven, and 12. So, kunin natin yung bilang ng uh, yung probability na kung saan meron tayong sum ng 2. So, meron tayong isa 1 plus 1. So, meron tayong 1 over. Ilan lahat to? Kapag nag-roll kayo ng dice, dalawa, ang total number of outcomes niya is 36. So, ang sample space natin, thirty six lahat lahat yan. So, 1 over 36. So, ilan naman yung merong sum na 3? Kapag inad natin, ito, ito sila. 2 plus 1, saka 1 plus 2, dalawa sila. So, that is 2 over 36. So, mamaya natin simplify yan. And then, yung number 4 naman natin, yung merong sum na 4, papansin nyo, diba? Ayun, ayun lang sila, oh. Inayos ko na kasi. So, 1 plus 3, 4. 2 plus 2, 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. So, meron tayong tatlo. So, 3 over 36. Para naman sa merong sum na 5, ito sila. Apat. So, 4 over 36. At habang dumatagal yan, dumadami at dumadami yan. So, ito naman ano, merong sum na 6. Ito ah, 5 plus 1, 4 plus 2, 
5 sila, 5 over 36. And then, ito, punta natin ito, nasa gitna na tayo. Okay. Yung may sum na 7. 6 plus 1, 5 plus 2, 4 plus 3, hanggang 1 plus 6. Meron tayong 6. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 36. At para naman sa may mga sum na 8, papansin nyo, maging, from 6, magiging 5 na lang yan. Magiging 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, 5 over 36. And, ito naman, para sa may mga sum ng 9. 3 plus 6, 4 plus 5, meron tayong 4. So, 4 over 36. Para sa may sum ng 10, tatlo sila, tatlo. So, 3 over 36. Para naman sa may mga sum ng 11, dalawa. Yan. 2 over 36. And lastly, for, for the sum of 12, meron tayo isa. So, 1 over 36. Ito na ngayon yung ating letter A. Yung probability distribution natin. For the random variable x. So, ngayon punta tayo sa letter B. For letter B, we are asked, uh, find the probability that the sum of the dots is greater than or equal to 9. So, P of x is greater than or equal to 9. Tandaan na, kasama yung 9. So, ibig sabihin, magsisimula tayo dito. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ang formula natin is ito. Add natin yung sum ng P of 9 plus P of 10 plus P of 11 plus P of 12. Okay? P of 11 ang P of 12 kasi sila yung greater than or equal to 9. And then getting the probability of these numbers or these uh, probabilities, you have 4 over 36. Meron kang 3. Ito pa rin ba? Meron kang 3 over 36 plus 3 over 36 plus 2 over 36 plus 1 over 36 and then add them 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 that is equal to 9 plus 1 that is 10 over 36 copy nyo lang so p of x is greater than or equal to 9 simplify that will give you the final answer of x is greater than or equal to 9 that is equal to 5 over 18. Ito na yung mismo sagot natin. The probability is 5 over 18. So, I hope na natutunan niyo yung example na to kasi medyo mahirap siya pero kaya naman as long as pagtsagaan niyo lang na panoorin yung ating video. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Sana natulungan ko sa video na to. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!